Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to Santa Maria Gorati Parish. Let us pray the Angelus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary. And she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh. And dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mary, Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, 
that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, to the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us now contemplate on our Lord's passion and death through the way of the cross. Let us pray. My Lord Jesus Christ, you have made this journey to die for me with your unfathomable love. And I have so many times unworthily abandoned you. But now I love you with my whole heart. And because I love you, I repent sincerely forever having offended you. Pardon me, my God, and permit me to accompany you on this journey. You go to die for love of me. I wish also, my beloved Jesus, to die for love of you. My Jesus, I will live and die always united to you. Amen. Amen. The first station, Jesus celebrates the Last Supper. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because, because by, by your holy, holy cross, cross you, you have redeemed, redeemed the world. world. St. Paul wrote, I received from the Lord what I also handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus on the night he was handed over took bread, and after he had given thanks, broke it and said, This is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Therefore, whoever eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord unworthily will have to answer for the body and blood of the Lord. Jesus, we ask for the grace to value your sacrifice and your sacrament in the Eucharist. Heal our memories as we partake of your great memory. Forgive us for the many times we celebrated your memory without the proper disposition of holiness of life and of reverence to your holy presence. Jesus crucified, by, by your, your wounds, wounds heal us. We carry the saving cross through the roads of the world, through the alleys of poverty and misery. Marching to a dawning day to freedom and victory, 
to God's life and endless glory. The second station, Jesus agonizes in the garden. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. To Peter, James, and John, whom Jesus privileged with gift of staying close to him in his hours of agony, Jesus' master said, So, you could not keep watch with me for one hour? Watch and pray that you may not undergo the test. Jesus, thank you for teaching us to pray to God as Father. Pour on us your spirit of prayer, so that we may persevere in prayer, even in dry and troubled times. Visit our prayers with your presence. Wake up our consciences and strengthen us for good works. Jesus crucified, by your Fire. wounds, heal us. We carry the saving cross through the roots of the world, through the alleys of poverty and misery. Marching to a dawning day To freedom and victory To God's life and endless glory The third station, Jesus is tried before the Sanhedrin We adore you, Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. In reply to the council of elders, chief priests, and scribes, who asked whether he was the Messiah, Jesus said, If I tell you, you will not believe. Jesus, may I always come to you with humility and openness. Remind me that prayer is above all an opening to God. Remind me that prayer is not just talking to you, but discerning your ways and your will. Remind me that more than the pride of the will, it is the pride of the intellect that is more deadly. Jesus crucified. By your wounds, heal us. We carry the saving cross through the roots of the world. Poverty and misery, marching to a dawning day, to freedom and victory, to God's life and endless glory. The fourth station. Jesus is scourged and crowned with thorns. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The apostle Peter wrote, He committed no sin. When he was insulted, when he suffered, he handed himself over to the one who judges justly. He bore our sins in his body upon the cross. By his wounds you have been healed. Jesus, you are indeed the good shepherd who so willingly lays down his life for his ship. We lift up to you all our wounds of body and spirit. Touch our wounds with your precious blood and heal us. You are truly human, so you feel what we feel. You are truly God, so you, do, you can do everything. Nothing is impossible with you. Above all, Enable us to draw meaning for our wounds by your very example of being a wounded healer. 
Jesus crucified. By your By wounds, you. heal us. We carry the saving cross through the roots of the world, through the alleys of poverty. The fifth station, Jesus receives the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. The beloved apostle John emphatically wrote that when Pilate finally handed Jesus over to the Jews to be crucified, they took Jesus and carrying the cross himself, he went out to what is called the place of skull, in Hebrew, Golgotha. Jesus, even as you are God, you carry the cross yourself. Even as we pray for the healing of our wounds and afflictions in mind, body, and spirit, remind us that there are pains that are part of this life's daily bread. Give us courage and a gentle spirit to carry these pains in ourselves without adding discomfort to others. Make us remember that earth is not our final perfection, but our pilgrimage. Jesus crucified by, by your her wounds, wounds heal, heal us. us. sixth station, Jesus falls under the weight of the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Although Christ Jesus was in the form of God, he did not count equality with God, a thing to be grasped, but he emptied himself, taking the form of a servant being born in the likeness of men, and being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even death on the cross. Jesus, to follow us, falling in weakness is not the end. If we fall in meekness and humility, and we never allow pride and bitterness to harden our hearts, we can rise with gracefulness and with God's merciful grace. Human limits may bring us down, but we should never be overwhelmed and downcast. We should not yield to human despair, but to faith filled in the Father's merciful hands. Jesus, you are our way. Amen. Jesus crucified by your, by your wounds, wounds heal us we carry the saving cross through the roads of the world through the alleys of poverty Don't 
to freedom and victory to God's life and endless glory. The seventh station, Simon of Cyrene carries the cross of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. The oldest gospel gives a very rich description of this event on the way of the cross. They press into service a passerby, Simon, a Cyrenian, who was coming in from the country, the father of Alexander and Rufus, to carry Jesus' cross. Jesus, we always pray that you visit us, that we see you, Help our human spirits with your Holy Spirit so that we, we, we may have wisdom to see you in unwanted interruptions of our schedules and in unexpected visitors who disturb our comfort and rest. Forgive us for the times when we love ourselves and our family members. And so there was no more room for you and for others. Jesus crucified. By your wounds, heal us. We carry the saving cross through the roads of the world, through the alleys of poverty. Jesus meets to the women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. To the mourning women, Jesus said, Do not weep for me. Weep instead for yourselves and for your children. Jesus, you want us to see you in others. Your other name is others. You are identified especially with women and children, symbols of the least and the helpless. You yourself reminded us, whatever you do to the least of my brothers, you do it to me. Cure us of our narrow religiosity, empty rituals, and shallow piety. Inscribe in our hearts the words of your Apostle James, who said, Religion that is pure and undefiled before God the Father is this, to care for orphans and widows in their affliction and to keep oneself unstained by the world. Jesus crucified. By your wounds, heal us. station jesus is nailed to the cross we adore you O christ and we bless you because, because by your holy, holy cross you, you have, have redeemed, redeemed the world saint paul reflected on jesus this way though he was in the form of god he emptied himself taking the form of a slave coming in human likeness and found human in appearance becoming obedient to death even death on the cross. Jesus, to serve and to save us, you had to be stripped of glory, 
be naked of any human dignity, be seen in shame and ignominy, cure our oversensitive selves that are so easily discouraged by insinuations and intrigues, correct our false sense of service with which we love to serve for good feeling and recognition, but with which we easily withdraw when difficulties and false stories arise. Remind us that we cannot serve the way you did if we are afraid of appearing naked in our humanness and failures. Jesus crucified by, by your wounds, heal us. We carry the saving cross through the roots of the world, through the alleys of poverty and misery, marching to a dawning day to freedom and victory. To God's life and endless glory. The tenth station, Jesus addresses the repentant thief. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. To the prophet Ezekiel, God reasoned out. I take no pleasure in the death of the wicked man, but rather in the wicked man's conversion, that he may live. Yet your countryman said, The way of the Lord is not fair. Jesus, strange indeed are your ways, and more than expected are your promises. Heal us of our fault-finding and condemning ways. Smash our pride and our selfishness. Let us measure our giving and forgiving, not according to the goodness of persons, but according to your goodness to us. We lift up to you those whom we have condemned and judged in thought, in words, in action, and in our prayer request. To you and through you I say, I forgive them, forgive them, forgive me too. Jesus crucified. By your By wounds, your... heal us. We carry the saving cross through the roads of the world. Station. Mary and John stand at the foot of the cross. We adore you, Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. When Jesus was presented in the temple, the old Simeon prophesied to Mary, Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rise of many, a sign that you will be contradicted. You yourself, a sword shall pierce, so that thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. Now, this prophecy has come to pass. Jesus, your mission was shared by Mary and the disciples. We pray for friends and family members who share our ideas, ideals, initiatives, and struggles. Bless them as you blessed Mary and John. Bless them for the pains they bore for us. Bless them for the fights they fought for us. Double the joys they shared with us. Jesus crucified. By your wounds, heal us. We carry the saving cross through the roads of the world, through the 
alleys of poverty and misery, marching to a dawning day to freedom and victory to God's life. The twelfth station, Jesus died on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Thrice Jesus revealed that the cross is victory. It is being lifted up so as to gain eternal life for believers. It is being lifted up to glorify the Father. It is being lifted up to draw all to unity in Jesus. Jesus, many are we who sign ourselves with your cross. Many are we who call ourselves Christians. Many are we who call ourselves brothers and sisters in your name. But we are diverse and we differ. We differ as individuals. We differ in our ways and culture, in our language and beliefs. We differ in our emotions in attitudes, reactions, and temperaments. We differ in intellect, in our views and interpretation of realities. We differ in our political opinions and options. We differ as churches and communities. We carry different names. We celebrate different rites and sacraments. We argue on our bib varied biblical and doctrinal views. We even highlight our do different doctrines in the airwaves, on televisions, in the view of all. Worse, our differences often divide us. We lift up to you these differences. Give us the spirit to see in them the richness of your gifts and creation. Give us the spirit to seek unity amidst our diversities. Draw us all to you. Draw us as brothers and sisters under the shadow of your cross. Jesus crucified. By your wounds, heal us. Please stand. We carry the saving cross through the roads of the world, through the of poverty and misery, marching to a dawning day, to freedom and victory, to God's life and endless glory. The thirteenth station, Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because, because by, by your holy cross, cross you, you have, have redeemed, redeemed the world. world. We are reminded of Jesus' remark at the death of Jairus' daughter. Why this commotion and weeping? The child is not dead, but asleep. Jesus, by your power, death is not the end but a door to another life. But this is easier said than believe. In our hearts, we carry feelings of loss and mourning for our dear relatives and friends who have died. We believe in you, but we miss them too. We miss their laughter, their stories, their hugs and kisses, their mischief. Touch our hearts, lift from us the darkness of grief and death and restore us to your joy and peace. Receive our departed relatives and friends, especially those who are dear to us and who were good to us in your loving and healing light. Jesus crucified, by, by your, your wounds, wounds heal us. us. Oh. 
14th station, Jesus rises from the dead. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. The Apostle Paul teaches, We were indeed buried with Christ through baptism into his death, so that just as he was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live in newness of life. Jesus, you are our life and resurrection. Amidst our various experiences of sacrifice and dying, keep us going. Let the power of your resurrection heal us from all that makes us feel old. Our hopelessness, our prostrations, our unbelief. We lift up to you all the events and memories of our lives that go with these feelings. For God's greater glory, let your resurrection keep us young, that is optimistic, active, smiling, and receptive in the midst of all. Jesus crucified and prison by your, By your wounds, wounds heal, heal us. us. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, you allowed Jesus, your Son, to undergo suffering in the darkness of death. You raised him up so that he might become for us the source of everlasting light and life. Grant us who have followed the way of the cross the grace to be obedient to your will so that we too may go through death with hope for the resurrection and to eternal life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. For the intentions of our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Suffering and shame. 
to the sacred heart of Jesus. Divine Jesus, you have said, ask and you shall receive, seek and you shall find, knock and it shall be opened unto you. Behold me kneeling at your feet, filled with a lively faith and confidence in the promises dictated by your sacred heart and pronounced by your adorable lips, I come to ask this favor. To whom can I turn if not to you, whose heart is the source of all graces and merits? Where should I seek if not in the treasure which contains all the riches of your kindness and mercy? Where should I knock if not at the door through which God gives himself to us and through which we go to God? I have recourse to you, heart of Jesus, in you I find consolation when afflicted, protection when persecuted, strength when burdened with trials, and light in doubt and darkness. Dear Jesus, I firmly believe that you can grant me the grace I implore, even though it should require a miracle. You have only to will it, and my prayer will be granted. I admit that I am most unworthy of your favors, but this is not a reason for me to be discouraged. You are the God of mercy, and you will not refuse a contrite heart. Cast upon me a look of mercy, I beg of you, and your kind heart will find in my miseries and weaknesses a reason for granting my prayer. O oh, sacred heart, whatever may be your decision with regard to my request, I will never stop adoring, loving, praising, and serving you. My Jesus, be pleased to accept this my act of perfect resignation to the decrees of your adorable heart, which I sincerely desire may be fulfilled in and by me and by all your creatures forever. Sacred heart of Jesus, I know that there is but one thing impossible to you, to be without pity to those who are suffering or in distress. Look upon me, I beg of you, dear Jesus, and grant me the grace for which I humbly implore you. Through the immaculate heart of your most sorrowful mother, you have entrusted me to her as her child, and her prayers are all powerful with you. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy, have mercy on, on us. us. Immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you. 
fragrance prayer. O heart of Jesus, heart of Jesus, Good morning, dear brothers and sisters. Welcome to our celebration of the Holy Eucharist. We offer this Holy Mass for the thanksgiving of our donors and sponsors, for the eternal repose of the souls of our dearly departed, for the healing of our online and in-person parishioners and their caregivers, for those who are unable to go to church physically for various reasons, and for all other intentions offered in this Eucharistic celebration. Today is Friday of the fifth week of Lent. Our Mass presider is Reverend Father Jason Laguerta with Father Mark De Manuele. Please all stand. God of mercy and compassion, look with pity upon me. Father, let me call thee Father, tis thy child returns to thee. Jesus, Lord, I ask for mercy, let me not implore in vain. All my sins I now detest them, never will I sin again. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We call to mind our sins. We beg the Lord to grant us pardon and strength. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Pardon the offenses of your people as we pray, O Lord, and in your goodness set us free from the bonds of the sins we have committed in our human weakness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. I hear the whisperings of many, 
terror on every side. Denounce, let us denounce him. All those who were my friends are on the watch for any misstep of mine. Perhaps he will be trapped. Then we can prevail and take our vengeance on him. But the Lord is with me like a mighty champion. My persecutors will stumble. They will not triumph. And their failure, they will be put to utter shame, to lasting, unforgettable confusion. O Lord of hosts, you who test the just, who prove mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them. For to you I have entrusted my cause. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has rescued the life of the poor from the power of the wicked. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and heard my voice. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and he heard my voice. I love you, O Lord, my strength. O Lord, my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and he heard my voice. My God, my rock of refuge, my shield, the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Praised be the Lord, I exclaim, and I am safe from my enemies. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. The breakers of death surged round about me. The destroying floods overwhelmed me. The cords of the netherworld enmeshed me. The snares of death overtook me. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and cried out to my God. From his temple, he heard my voice, and my cry to him reached his ears. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. Please all stand. Lord, our spirit and life, you have the words of everlasting life. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory and praise to you. you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to john glory to you o lord the jews picked up rocks to stone jesus jesus answered them i have shown you many good works from my father for which of these are you trying to stone me the Jews answered him, We are not stoning you for a good work, but for blasphemy. You, a man, are making yourself God. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law, I said, you are gods? 
If it, it, if it calls them gods to whom the word of God came and scripture cannot be set aside, can you say that the one whom the Father has consecrated and sent into the world blasphemes because I say I am the Son of God? If I do not perform my Father's works, do not believe me. But if I perform them, even if you do not believe me, believe the works that you may realize and understand that the Father is in me and I am in the Father. Then they tried again to arrest him, but he escaped from their power. He went back across the Jordan to the place where John first baptized, and there he remained. Many came to him and said, John performed no sign, but everything John said about this man was true. And, there, and many there began to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Praise be Jesus Christ. Now and forever. Laudetur Jesus Christus. Semper laudetur. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Magandang umaga. Pakibati din ng good morning ang ating mga katabi. Beautiful Friday morning. And to our online parishioners, thank you also for being with us today. We now go to the 38th station in our 40 stations of Lent. By Palm Sunday, we are ending this list with this list of 40 stations. The 38th station, which is the image of the stone again, this time the third stone. If you may recall in John chapter 8, verse 7, the Jews, they were holding stones to throw at the woman. That's the first stone. And yesterday, we also went to the second stone in John chapter 8, 59, the end of the chapter. The Jews also pick up stones to throw at him because he declared to them that before Abraham came to be, I am. They were greatly offended by the claim of Jesus about being, I am, going back to the Exodus chapter 3 event of the burning bush where God revealed his name to Moses. So when Jesus took this upon himself, they were so angry with him that they picked up stones to throw at him. But Jesus, of course, was able to avoid arrest and escape. In our gospel today, we move to chapter 10. So we were in chapter 8. Now we go to chapter 10, verse 31. And the Jews are at it again. The Jews did not pick up stones anymore. They picked rocks. That's the detail in our gospel today. The third stone, so to speak. Hindi na po pebbles or small stones. They, the Jews pick up rocks. You find that in John 10, 31. The Jews pick up rocks. Ano pong pagkakaiba ng stone sa rock? Oh, alam nyo na yan. And why? why? Why were the Jews so angry with Jesus? Because previous to this, Jesus claimed that he and the Father are one. Blasphemy, the Jews said. Why are you claiming to be equal to God or being one with God? In the traditional 14 stations of the cross, Jesus had three falls. Tatlong ulit siyang nahandusay. In John chapter 8 and 10, they, he, they attempted to stone Jesus at least twice. 
In John chapter 11, verse 8, so we're moving to John chapter 11, Jesus wants to go back to Jerusalem. And the, and the disciples reminded him, the Jews want to stone you to death there. Why are you going back? And that, this is in the, the next chapter, John 11. So context. John chapter 8, beginning stoning of the woman caught in adultery. John chapter 8, 59, at the end of the chapter, it was Jesus that they tried to stone to death. In John chapter 10, verse 31, they pick up rocks to stone him to death. And in John chapter 11, Jesus would go back in order to be stoned again. Tikas din ng ulo, di ba? Ang sabi ng mga disciples sa kanya, ibabatuhin ka na nga nila, eh. balik ka pa ng balik. John, we go back to the gospel today. Jesus again, when they tried to arrest him, he escaped and went where? He went back across the Jordan to the place where he was baptized. So you look at the context of John chapter 10. He, they avoided arrest again, he escaped, and then went to the place where John was baptizing across the Jordan. Many times in our life, people want to throw rocks at us. And they do not just attempt to do that. They really do. Ilang beses na ho ba kayo nabato? Ang tawag sa panahon natin ng pagbabato sa atin ay bashing. So hindi na stoning, but bashing. You are bashed to death until no more reputation or character is left of you. You are left wounded and, and destroyed by the stones and rocks thrown at you by people, by their accusations, by their lies, by their gossip. There are many times in our life that like Jesus, people want to hurt us. Nakakalungkot, no? Maraming mga taong gustong manakit sa atin. Pakiting nga ang katabi mo. May gusto bang manakit sa iyo? How did Jesus deal with the people who wanted to hurt him? Let's learn from Jesus in our gospel today. First, he confronted them. That's what he tried to do. He tried to explain to them who he is, his identity, his mission, his relationship with the Father. He did. He tried. Jesus tried to explain himself to them. Not by arguing or not by fighting or quarreling with them, but he just wanted to be honest with them. Jesus was telling them, I could not lie to you. You have to accept the truth about me because the truth will set you free. But they refuse, of course, to believe in him. So that's the first strategy of Jesus. He tried to explain all he could with all his might and power. He tried to explain to them. But their hearts were not just, you know, their hands were not just carrying stones. Their hearts were made of stones as well. So hindi lang hawak yung bato, pati yung puso nila, naging bato na rin sa pagpapaliwanag ni Jesus. Again and again in our life, we want to explain ourselves, but people do not just want to listen to us. They don't want to understand. Nasa sitwasyon ka bang ganito? You explain again and again, but to no avail, they just don't want to listen. They just don't want to hear you out. So when Jesus saw this, when they were not receptive to, what, to his explanation, he avoided them. He escaped from them. So minsan tama rin po yun eh. Sometimes instead of, of, of talking or, or continuing to, to argue, there are times that we really need to also go away. Minsan kailangan mo ding iwasan. Iwas-iwas din pag may time. Tama din naman yun. You don't have to engage in the vicious cycle of throwing stones at each other. There are times that you really need to, what? Eh, turn off mo nalang yung cellphone mo para wala nang tumatawag sa'yo. O kaya magpunta ka sa payos, mag-retreat ka dyan, magtago ka dyan. Sa palda ni Father, magtago ka dyan. 
So minsan, kailangan din nating umiwas. Kailangan din nating magpakalayo-layo to have some safe distance between us and the enemy in our life, those who want to hurt us. You can't afford to be hurt every day. Tao lang tayo eh. Pag nasasaktan tayo, masisira talaga tayo. Kaya kung nakikita mo ng toxic yung environment mo, get out of it. Get out. It's not, it's not being, you know, coward. It's not being a, a coward, but it's really more of self-preservation and self-care. So yun yung pangalawang ginawa ni Jesus. He explained, first of all, and then he escaped, second, and third, he went to his comfort place. Saan siya pumunta? Kung saan siya bininyagan. Maybe he wanted to refresh in his memory the words of the Father from heaven. This is my beloved Son. Maybe Jesus wanted to soothe himself again and assure himself that what he is doing is something that the Father wanted him to do. He wanted to go back to where it all began where John baptized him by the river Jordan in the desert of Judea. And he wanted to be assured, assured again and again that what I'm doing is God's will. This is what the Father wants me to do. He went back to where it all started. So three things, very practical suggestions and that we can learn from Jesus. Explain as much as you can. Avoid if you must. And then go someplace else, uh, someplace else where you can care for your soul again. That is not yet the hour for Jesus, so he did that. In John chapter 13, he will enter into his passion. But for now, he has to escape. He has to go to his comfort place where he was baptized. In our own life, brothers and sisters, there are three ways we can handle people who want to hurt us. Explain things to them. If they don't listen, avoid them. And if you can help it, try to find a place where you can be safe again. Do not expose your, yourself too much to a toxic place. Go back to a place where you can be cared for again. So that when you are healed from your wounds, maybe you want to go back Chapter 11, Jesus will go back to Jerusalem. And that's what we need to do also. We need to retreat for some time, but we need to go back. We cannot avoid forever. Praise be Jesus Christ. Now and forever. Blessed are you, Lord. God of all creation, thanks to your goodness, this bread we offer, fruit of the earth, work of our hands, it will become the bread of life, blessed be God. Blessed be God, blessed be God forever. Amen. Blessed be God, blessed be God, blessed be God forever. Amen. Please stand. Pray, dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, O merciful God, that we may be worthy to serve ever fittingly at your altars and there to be saved by constant participation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God. 
for through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty, since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed in the authority of Christ crucified. So, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. As we kneel before the Lord, we open our heart to Jesus once more. Let us find in him our friend and Savior who will protect us and defend us, who will never intend to hurt us. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all religious and clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Paul, Santa Maria Goretti, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be coerced to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. children of the loving Father, we turn to him and we pray together. Ang 
loob mo dito sa lupa para ng salangin. Bigyan mo kami ngayon ng aming kakanin sa Sana sa amin at wag mo kami ipahit tulot sa tukso at iadya mo kami sa Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may be free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace to you all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Standing, oh 
The prayer of San Padre Pio after Holy Communion. Stay with me, Lord, for it is necessary to have you present so that I do not forget you. You know how easily I abandon you. Stay with me, Lord, because I am weak and I need your strength, that I may not fall so often. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my life, and without you I am without fervor. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my light, and without you I am in darkness. Stay with me, Lord, to show me your will. Stay with me, Lord, so that I hear your voice and follow you. Stay with me, Lord, for I desire to love you very much and always be in your company. Stay with me, Lord, if you wish me to be faithful to you. Stay with me, Lord, for as poor as my soul is, I want it to be a place of consolation for you, a nest of love. Stay with me, Jesus, for it is getting late and the day is coming to a close. And life passes, death, judgment, eternity approaches. It is necessary to renew my strength so that I will not stop along the way. And for that, I need you. It is getting late and death approaches. I fear the darkness, the temptations, the dryness, the cross, the sorrows. Oh, how I need you, my Jesus, in this night of exile. Stay with me tonight, Jesus, in life with all its dangers. I need you. Let me recognize you as your disciples did at the breaking of the bread, so that the Eucharistic communion be the light which disperses the darkness, the force which sustains me the unique joy of my heart. Stay with me, Lord, because at the hour of my death, I want to remain united to you, if not by communion, at least by grace and love. Stay with me, Jesus. I do not ask for divine consolation because I do not merit it, but the gift of your presence, oh yes, I ask this of you. Stay with me, Lord, for it is you alone I look for your love, your grace, your will, your heart, your spirit, because I love you, and ask no other reward but to love you more and more. With a firm love, I will love you with all my heart while on earth and continue to love you perfectly during all eternity. Amen. Amen. We pray for the family. Dearest Father in heaven, bless our family and bless us with new beginnings. Smile upon our parents and surround our children with the soft mantle of your love. Teach every child of ours to follow in your footsteps and to live life in the ways of faith, hope, and charity. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. In the moment of silence, we pray for the intentions of our family.
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Mary, Mother of God. Pray for Saint us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Santa Maria Goretti. Pray for us. Please all stand. Let us pray. May the unfailing protection of the sacrifice we have received never leave us, O Lord, and may it always drive far from us all that would do us harm through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalo sa ating banal na misa to our visitors and pilgrims. Thank you po for being with us today and to our online parishioners. Salamat din sa pagsama sa ating panalangin. Holy Week na po and we would like to invite all of you to participate in our activities. Nakapost na po ito sa ating mga social media uh, platforms and I'd like to mention lang uh, tomorrow po I'd like to invite you for our Lenten recollection beginning 4 o'clock we already have some priests available for confession, uh, primarily Father Mark. No? So at 4 o'clock, he would be available for confession. We'll have the Mass at 5 o'clock, anticipated Palm Sunday, and then 6 o'clock will be our Lenten recollection. We talk about turning trauma into triumph. I, I think this is a topic that everyone needs right now. Everybody is wounded. Everybody is going some pain in their lives, and we need to turn it around. Through the wounds of Jesus, we will be healed. So we meditate on this theme. And uh, Sunday, I'd like to invite you, if you will go to Mass very early in the morning, magkakaroon po tayo ng Palm Sunday procession. Maiksi lang naman po, no? so mga tatlong kilometro lang naman. At, uh, so be here at 6.30 uh, this Sunday for our Palm Sunday procession. Hindi po. 20 meters lang po, dun lang sa labas. And then we will have our Mass at 7 a.m. And uh, we invite you also sa Tuesday, Holy Tuesday. Ito po ay ang uh, premier screening ng remastered copy ng Cristo. Uh, produced and directed by M7 Yalung. And he will come with some artists of Cristo. Na, ito bago pa magkaroon ng Passion of the Christ ni Mel Gibson. Yung Cristo in the 1990s was already our local version of the Passion of the Christ. So, we will show the film dito po sa ating theater and then we will have a little recollection after. A little reflection after that. And refreshment, of course. And then we will, uh, we will announce the other schedule uh, as we go along in our Holy Week. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may our loving God bless you and your family, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass has been offered. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Dulcedo, espes nostra salve. A te clamamus, exules fili heve. A te suspiramus, gementes et flentes, inac lacrimarum vale. Ea ergo, advocata nostra, ilos tuos misericordes oculos, ad os converte. Et Jesu, benedicto fructu ventris tui, nobis, O sok exilio ostende, O clemens, O pia, O dulcis virgo mar. 
nobis sancta dei genetrix, od dignificiamur promissionibus Christi.